Good morning everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF and today I am going to continue with my portable Morse code paddle series. Welcome back to those of you who have seen one or more of the previous videos in this series. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the fourth paddle in the series. It's called the QU7025 Quebec Uniform 7025 paddle. It's found on uh, multiple different uh, vendors' websites, uh, Amazon and uh, AliExpress and uh, eBay and many others. So I spent about 30 minutes doing a, uh, a internet search for uh, information about the, the uh, manufacturer and I, I really didn't come up with anything. Uh, I, I can uh, find the paddle on multiple websites but nobody provides information on the manufacturer. I assume that it's probably made in China by multiple vendors because there are different variations of this paddle. Uh, but if anybody knows more information about who the manufacturer is of this uh, uh, QU7025, please let me know. I'd be interested to, to find out. As I mentioned, I have two variations of this paddle. The first comes to me, it's an eBay version from a friend of mine in California, Jose K6HZR. And then also um, a friend of mine here in Phoenix uh, surprised me. He ordered one on Amazon and sent it my way as a gift. So to both of you, I really appreciate uh, what you did in, in uh, lending and, and purchasing one for me. Thank you so much. Uh, coincidentally, they both arrived at about the same time. So let's go ahead and get over to the bench and take a look. This paddle is very affordable, ranging in cost between $22 and $50, depending on the vendor use. I think the cost average is around $25, including shipping. So I'm not gonna provide a link to all the various vendors you can purchase this paddle from, you can simply do a internet search and multiple options will come up when you put in uh, QU7025. I will provide though a link to the Amazon and eBay links where these both were purchased. And I have both of them here. Um, this one was arrived like this, uh, since it had already been used, opened and used. And in this one comes, uh, as I mentioned, has the plate and it has a Allen wrench and it has a cable and then some of these uh, pads for the for the feet of the uh, key. This one I uh, haven't opened yet. I'm gonna uh, open. I'm opening this now and I'll be testing it later uh, before I, I shoot the rest of this video. So in this one comes the cable and this has I guess two metal plates instead. So the metal plates are there and uh, pads on this one as well in there and the Allen wrench. So everything's pretty much the same. As you can see it comes in a little bag here, the main part of it. I'm gonna rip it open here. And I'll be talking about the differences between these two uh, at, in the video after I take these out in the field and, and uh, try each of them. I have here the Pico Palm which has kind of been my standard for uh, what, uh, measuring against other paddles. And then these two here are the QU7025. They're roughly the same size as the Pico Palm, maybe a little bigger, uh, but uh, they're definitely a little heavier too. Uh, it comes in at, uh, these, these come in at around 24 grams without the cable compared to the Pico Palm, which is 16 grams without the cable. It is obvious that the this is made with at least partial uh, 3D printing. This the handles here are 3D. These levers are have that characteristic look of, of being 3D printed. And the base might not be 3D printed. I'm not sure. It looks like it might just be uh, something that's a little bit better better made. Uh, but the design is pretty basic. It's um, uh, has this middle post here and the levers just make contact with it. Uh, there's little pins on either side and on the levers and the levers, uh, when they make contact, obviously you get the dits and daws. It is spring loaded and the paddle, uh, you can see that right here. And there's different sized springs depending on the variant you receive. Um, this one, you'll see that they're actually just the size itself of these two is slightly different. This one here on the right is a little bit smaller. It has a bigger spring in it. Um, it's just, uh, you know, just variations of the same thing. I, I think there are multiple uh, multiple um, manufacturers for these, but they all call them the same thing. You also notice that uh, this one on the right, it, it has a place for you to, to uh, adjust the pins, 
but not the tension. But the one here on the left, you have an extra place for your Allen key to adjust the tension of the spring. So again, a little bit different in uh, their design, although they're both called the QU7025. They both come with an Allen wrench uh, in the in the uh, package when it's when it's sent. So you have that in there, and adjustments can be made with that. So the mounting options are about the same as most other paddles. Uh, if you have a radio that's metallic, like uh, most are built, uh, like you know, for example, this FT817, um, you can uh, put you know. Add it right there, and it uh, it doesn't move much. I can really go with this, and it doesn't move. It's the mag magnets are pretty strong, not as strong as you get with the Brazilian Mini, but uh, pretty strong. If you have a radio that isn't metallic, then you can use these these me these uh, adhesive metal plates to uh, put them pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, I had no problem sending CW with it uh, when it was attached to the radio. It it didn't slide around as I was sending, so the magnets are pretty decent. Now the paddle agility is uh, pretty good for its value. Uh, the paddle is rel really inexpensive and so I didn't have uh, high expe expectations for the agility of this thing. I, I wouldn't say that it feels amazing, but I was really happy with how it felt and the experience uh, that I had with it. There were there are very few failures when I was sending. I did get a few, uh, but uh, you know overall it was pretty good. I didn't have a spongy feel to it like the uh, Radio Adventure Gear paddle does. That I featured earlier and I think I did feel a little better about uh, this paddle uh, than I did the uh, than I do the uh, Radio Adventure gear as far as the sponginess goes. As I mentioned it's uh, spring-loaded and the tension can be adjusted, uh, other variations not so much and uh, the contact distance between the, the posts can also be adjusted. I would also mention that the that after using these paddles for a while at least this one here on the left, it started to feel a little less smooth and, the, and it started squeaking a little bit. And the rub here, you know, underneath in here, these paddles kind of rub the base. And so over time, I think that uh, they'll wear a little bit and, and uh, probably not a good thing. I've already shown you that uh, both come with a cable, a 3.5 millimeter jack that goes in the bottom of the paddles. So now I'm going to go on to my grading and let me just remind everybody again as I have in the past videos these are my own opinions based on my own experiences uh, things can change as they did with the uh, a little bit with the uh, adventure radio radio adventure gear paddle but for the most part I'm giving my honest opinion from my point of view you guys may have different experiences and it may be uh, different grades that you give the paddles that I review but that's okay that's you and this is me so with that let, let me go ahead and uh, get into the grades for this, I'm going to give it an A for cost. This is a very affordable paddle, especially for how well it performs. My expectations were not high for this because of the cost, and uh, the performance for this paddle exceeded my expectations. If you want to buy it and don't like it, you only have, you're only uh, you only into the into it the cost of a cheap Bofeng, maybe you know 25 bucks or so. Durability, I'm going to give it a C. I have some concerns about the durability of this paddle. It does feel solid. And uh, but I think the after extended use you'll start to see failures in the contacts and uh, just with the general mechanics of it uh, because it is I think a little cheaper made. I think it was made from cheaper parts with replacement rather than re repair in mind and even only after a couple of activations I started to see some performance decline in this one slightly. Additionally a friend of mine who has one of these told me that he broke it after several uses so uh, you know it's questionable. Weight, I'm going to give it an A. This paddle comes in at 24 grams with the cable com without the cable, I, I mean, compared to the Pico Palm at 16 grams without the cable. It's an excellent weight, uh, nearly the same as the Pico Palm. Size, I'm going to give it an A also. It's really this, the, about the same size as the Pico. It is very compact, but it is not so small that you can't hold it and operate if you uh, want to, like I do. If you hold the paddle like I do, you have to be careful to make sure you grip it on the base and not get your fingers up above because that's where the action is. Agility, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there's really no play in these paddles. They are very solid and good for what uh, you have here, uh, good for playing around with. I'm going to give the agility a B. 
On a side note for agility, if I had to do the review over again for the Radio Adventure Gear paddle, I'd probably move the agility grade, uh, I gave that paddle down from a B to a C. Uh, because uh, I've been getting some emails from and uh, comments from other people who have, exp who have that paddle and they're all uh, concerned about uh, the sponginess of it and uh, it doesn't uh, perform as well as, as I first experienced. Customer service, I'm going to give it a C. I think you're going to see mixed results with customer service uh, based on the vendor. There are so many different vendors out there and different variations. Uh, in the spirit of ham radio, if you run into a problem with it, uh, you should probably just try to fix it yourself. I think, especially for the cost, it's only $25, you'd be better off. For the enclosure grade, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to give this a fail. Uh, I'm giving it a fail because there are 3D printed paddles out there with similar designs that are enclosed, and I see no reason why this shouldn't have one. Maybe it's to keep the cost down, but regardless, while I was out in the field testing this and the other one, I had problems with debris and water getting in the contacts and causing pro you know, it causing me to uh, not be able to send CW. Uh, not having that enclosure is a real failure point with this paddle, and so uh, it fails for me. Uh, if you can keep it protected and, and not get debris in there and uh, water and stuff like that, then I think you're going to be okay and it'll be a good paddle for you as a as a starter paddle, uh, something you wouldn't want long term, uh, but to get going, maybe it's a good one. Mounting is a C. It does come with a mounting option, but nothing spectacular that would bump it up higher than an average grade. Beauty is also a C. It's designed for utility more than for beauty. Uh, it's certainly not, you know, something ugly, but at the same time, it's not the prettiest. And an average grade of C is pretty good for this, especially since. It's pretty common design that you see uh, even in homebrew. Okay, that, that wraps up my thoughts on this key. So let's get go ahead and get it plugged into the radio and give it a test run. Okay, I have here my QCX, not my, the QCX Mini that was lent to me by Malin. Uh, let me pull this out and we will get it set up with the battery. DC, let's get a paddle. And it goes in there, and we'll plug in this paddle here. All right, the P right there indicates practice mode, but even so, uh, double redundancy, or just redundancy, not double redundancy, but redundancy here, so we have the, uh, make sure we protect this regardless. So the P for practice plus the dummy load. All right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so that is it for the QU7025. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys joining me. Uh, this is a great paddle for maybe somebody who has, is just getting into Morse code and, and uh, it's a great first paddle. But uh, as you move on, you might want to uh, choose a different paddle. Uh, remember that this is a series and so there'll be more reviews coming up on, and uh, so make sure you come on back and join us. I'll, I'll put a, a link down below of the two different uh, variations of this uh, paddle so that you can check them out. And so thank you again for joining me. I hope you come on back and uh, appreciate the support for this channel and I'll say 73 to you until next time. Bye bye.